Thank you for watching and welcome back. The impact of El Nino has disrupted reproductive health services, exposing over 58,126 vulnerable women and teenage girls of reproductive age to the risks of menstrual hygiene, reproductive health-related diseases, and gender-based violence in overcrowded IDP camps. In the counties of Garissa and Tana River, vulnerable teenage girls sheltered in over 60 IDP camps face challenges related to reproductive health and menstrual hygiene, coupled with a lack of clean water and the absence of sanitary pads. Besides, UNFPA and the Kenya Red Cross have raised a red alert regarding the risks of exposure of women and girls to gender-based violence cases. Our reporter, Levis Musumba, filed the following report, highlighting how vulnerable teenage girls are coping with challenges related to reproductive health and menstrual hygiene. Arid and semi-arid land counties have been the hardest hit by the effects of climate change, experiencing the worst drought in 40 years, resulting in livelihood loss with over 4 million people facing starvation. Now, El Nino has brought massive destruction, with the thousands displaced in 36 affected counties, including Garissa and Tana River. We had uh, 5.4 million people uh, who were affected during that uh, uh, drought, and this uh, had 945,000 uh, children, uh, 150 uh, pregnant uh, women were affected. Just as the region was uh, exiting from the drought, we are now confronted with an equally uh, severe El Nino emergency. Uh, we've had heavy uh, rains that have caused massive displacements. We are now looking at over 300,000 people across uh, mostly Asal counties that were also uh, severely affected during the drought. As the communities grapple with the aftermath of the floods, thousands of teenage girls face unique challenges in the crowded IDP camps of Garissa and Tana River counties. Menestrual hygiene has become a pressing concern with limited access to sanitary pads and proper facilities, exposing vulnerable girls to risks of spread of diseases, including those impacting reproductive health, as well as risks of gender-based violence. In every 10 girls, I'd say seven, are affected. The access to reproductive uh, health and sanitation products, sanitary products. Garissa is one of the counties facing unmet needs in family planning and sexual reproductive health. Adolescent pregnancy and high rates of gender-based violence are prevalent issues. Between January and November 2023, the county had recorded 93 cases of gender-based violence, out of which 32 were defilement cases. The numbers are projected to rise as the effects of El Nino have displaced thousands of teenage girls into IDP camps where gender-based violence reporting pathways are non-existent. We are actually anticipating for very high level of uh, GBV in terms of teen pregnancy, sexual assaults come next year. For now, we anticipate to join, hand with the, join hands with different stakeholders in able to, to avoid those massive numbers of GBV cases to be recorded next year or any time from now. We have also trained our staff in the county to provide uh, clinical management of rape services. In the neighboring county of Tana River, the 52 IDP camps have become the home of thousands of women and girls of reproductive age. The story of Halima, a 17-year-old girl from Peponi IDP camp in Tana Delta, debates the dire state of unmet needs for reproductive health services during emergencies. She struggles to maintain proper menstrual hygiene amid a dire lack of water and an availability of sanitary pads, as her family has shifted priorities to secure food to survive the biting hunger. <laughs> Halima's story is just one of many. For Yusra, 
14 years old, a fifth born in a family of eight. Every day she has to walk for several miles to fetch water that is unsafe for use. Without clean water, maintaining proper menstrual hygiene is a struggle for her to survive in these conditions. Maji kidogo ndo tunapata. Nyuko mbali uko, maji enye eni. Ni mitaro hivi enye yako rangi ya green. Hasa tunabama hivyo hivyo. Nini ngetaka wazidi kutuleta hizo pads tena na chupi. According to the Kenya Demographic Health Survey of 2022, highlighted the alarming numbers of gender-based violence in Garissa and Tana River counties, with 148 reported cases in Garissa and 81 in Tana River, the situation is dire as 15 hospitals and 11 in Garissa and Tana River have been submerged by El Nino floods, disrupting access to family planning resources, sexual and reproductive health services, exacerbating the vulnerability of women and girls in IDP camps, leaving them exposed to even more hardships. At CCGD, we've, we've trained community health volunteers and uh, also human rights activists and social workers. So we've, we've taught them on the types of GBV that are there, where to report them. Amid this crisis, UNFPA has taken steps to make a difference. One crucial intervention is the provision of over 19,000 sanitary pads to safeguard women and girls from health emergencies in Garissa and Tana River counties. The Dignity Kit has a range of items that uh, enable uh, adolescent girls and young women to manage their uh, menses with uh, uh, dignity. And those are again supplies that uh, based on our assessment are rarely considered as a priority within households in an emergency situation like the current one. As Garissa and Tana River counties strive to recover from the El Nino floods, the silent struggle of women and girls must be acknowledged. Through the concerted efforts of organizations like UNFPA, there is hope that the resilience of these communities will prevail bringing about positive change in the face of diversity and joining hands in the fight for clean water, proper sanitation, access to family planning, and the eradication of gender-based violence. Levis Msumba, KT News. We take another break.